What's up everybody, it's me King Alpha with another video on the Hammer and Anvil uh, update here. And basically what I'm going to tell you guys is how do you get blueprints? How do you get more blueprints just in general? Um, as you can see right now, I did have a Lohar uh, little what, rally going there. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this army, run it over there. And basically, Lohar can give you blueprints that are both green and um, it's just a bunch of green, I believe, green items. Now we come over here, as you can see, ah, only a couple, but... Uh, we didn't get anything here. However, in my other trial completes, you can see people are getting pieces and fragments that can give you towards whichever material. It's not only the pants that you can get them towards. You can actually get them towards uh, other things. Hold on. There we go. So you can actually get them towards the chest plates. You can get them towards um, the Lohar bone necklace. But what you need to do is actually use, and you come over here to your items, and you come over here and use the Lohar Longbow or the Lohar's Buckler. And basically with that, you can get certain uh, chest pieces. Now, I do want to test out Lohar's Longbow and see if there's any type of difference between the two. Whether you can actually get, like, what, you know, common uh, blueprints or, uh, you know, if, or if it still gives you green. Because of the fact that if you actually can forge your little white materials I, I mean the white materials the white items i actually had messed up there when i was uh you know basically trying to get to the fact that you can get like blue like blue items and blue blueprints you need 30 of these it's gonna take a little while for you to actually make any type of blue materials however green materials it seems like it's gonna be easier to actually get your blueprints blueprints for however materials for for common are so easy now my friend Jack over here in, in the alliance was telling me that basically you come over here and I know you for the first quest when you actually build um, the first forge anyways you get two blueprints to do these now there's also side quests with this that if you forge the item you actually get more and more materials with these little side quests that you can get more materials forge other equipment and basically with you forging the equipment you get more and more materials so i would really suggest for everybody out there to make sure that you actually forge these little white common materials because it's gonna take forever and i mean not forever forever but it's just gonna take really long to get you know green items blue items purple items because of the fact that you need blueprints you need materials in general and the only way for you to even get all those materials is for you to pay however i'm not sure if people that are paying for the um that little a hammer and anvil chest whether they actually do get blueprints when it goes towards like spending like fifty dollars or a hundred dollars so i'm not sure but this is the best way in a way for just free to play players to use your action potions and make sure that you go into these low heart trials you make sure you're doing as much as possible just because of the fact that you can actually um you know get blueprints everybody needs blueprints right now for their materials and if you could just use some action points maybe even a couple thousand what's wrong with that you know what i mean if it's you're getting blueprints it's towards actually getting items for your heroes for example for me i've decided to change my method of who of what items i'm actually going to go for so i'm gonna i'm a main mainly i'm an infantry hero type guy so i'm gonna be going for the iron helm which gives in infantry attack plus three and i'm also going to be going for the gloves which is infantry defense plus two you never know you can actually get this increase by 30 percent it's probably a very low chance but it's still really good it gives you your your hero an item because while you're waiting to get these, once you actually have these done, once you actually get the blueprints done over here, you can actually dismantle these and it gives you all the materials back. So let's say I get, I, you know, I got 20 crystals here, 20 ebony, and then 20 animal bone. Once I forge this, once I dismantle it, I get all of that back. So you can basically just recombine everything and just combine it until you get epics and purples materials. So it doesn't really matter. It's not like you lose out on any um, materials or anything of the sort, which is really good because honestly, it would suck like if you forge the items and then you lose the materials that you just forged. You know what I mean? So now it's kind of it's a better way right now where you actually focus on making your little common materials and then just wait and, and and go every day by going 
through you know low hard trials and everything and getting those blueprints until you're actually able to make your advanced your, your green materials your your rare materials and i would say you know for those that are actually just free to play and even just regular players it's maybe just better you just stick to white and green for right now until you can maybe make a blue material later down the line because without sunset canyon sunset canyon you can only try so much every day and then additionally you can only try um sorry for the dogs in the back you can only try a certain amount of sunset canyons a day and then you can only get a certain amount of advanced materials which i wanted to show this to you guys if you go over here for your daily objectives, you can actually get six normal equipment chests. And then for this objective, you can actually get three advanced equipment chests. So every day you get about nine chests, six normal, and then three advanced. But then additionally, courier shop, you can also get little chests that can give you blue that can give you uh, blueprints and materials. So it's all based off everyday work, everyday, you know, grinding, which is really good. This gives you a, a sense of grinding and not just super pay to win instantly. Now, again, I'm not sure if whether those chests that people buy for the hammer and anvil, whether you get blueprints out of that, because if they do get blueprints out of that and they buy the, you know, three gold chests a day, it will be kind of unfair. But I hope they what they do is they just have it where it's just materials in those chests because if it's just materials in those chests that's gonna be what's up but anyways guys that's my little um you know how to get your blueprints faster do these low hard trials as you can see over here we just got a bunch of low hard completions let's actually look through them first so he got uh, another low hard bones um thing i got two fragments for the milanese uh plate let's see what other ones did we get we nothing just low hearts and what's this one and then this person got two plates so it's it's all about that it's all about getting those plates and getting those um fragments and once you hit 30 fragments sorry wrong selection once you hit 30 you know you get 30 of these fragments you combine them make a blueprint and then bam you can forge whoever for example just before i end this video this is going towards this. It's cavalry defense and archer attack. What I'm probably going to do is just get this. I'm going to make this. And then I'm going to put it on the highest cavalry hero that I have, which is Belisarius. So it's all good and fun and games. And just uh, it's finally something that it looks forward to actually grinding for and using action potions as well for. I do think with all the action potion spending, they should probably make an even additional way of getting more action points, action potions. Um, other than like VIP shop and doing challenges and stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope this helped you out a lot with um, just figuring out, you know, how to get your blueprints, how to, what materials you should forge and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. Let me know what you actually think in the comment section below. And if you even have any like hidden features or tips that I'm missing in this video.